I would want every one of us here to decide to either walk in the light of creative altruism or we perish in the darkness of destructive selfishness. You must decide today to be a change agent. You must decide today to become an advocate against violence against young persons. And it must start from your home, from your workplace, from your school, from your surroundings. You must today indoctrinate and imbibe that basic rudiment of championing this cause. Before I end this, I want to take um, the, I seek the indulgence of the Senate President that since most of the leaders of the youth organizations are present here, I'll use that opportunity to correct an erroneous impression or misrepresentation in the public about the self chronicled and Christian anti-social media bill. I want to announce that there is nothing like social media bill before the Senate. This is a misrepresentation. And Nigerians, I'm sorry to say, we are gullible. Once a mistake is made or a misinformation is placed, there's always a bad wagon effect. Somebody was challenging me at the Hilton two days ago, and I asked him, what is this social media bill about? He's never seen the bill. He's never gone through it. He doesn't know how many sections it contains. He doesn't even know the contents. But because everyone is saying, Kai, 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 he decided to also join and say, Kai, Kai, Kai. <laughs> and I think, as young persons, it is time we start asking questions. What is before the Senate is the fictitious petitions bill. Fictitious. Many of us here go to, when, when you lose your certificates, you go to the police, the first thing the police will ask you to do is to go and swear an evidence. If you want to go to court or some even, you apply for work somewhere, they tell you, go and swear an affidavit. And I want to educate us that there's a difference between information and petitions. People are misconstruing it and saying that it's going to trample on the Freedom of Information um, Act. It will not. When you are given an information, Example of an information is run to the police station. I some so, so strange places are in that now that are suspected to be robbers. That's an information. But when you are call, when you are writing a petition, you are calling for a probe of an individual. You are calling for an investigation of an individual. And this may eventually result in litigation. And because it is going to, it may end up in litigation. You will need to swear an affidavit that the petition, you stand by the petition you have written. So that when it comes to, when it goes to court, you can then either sue or be sued. But if there is no affidavit, but the way it has been painted and people are talking of prison as if uh, once you tweet anything, you go to jail, that bill is not a, that bill is not a decree. And however, bill, every bill is called a process. There is no one bill that will satisfy everybody. That is why there will be a public hearing. And when it is time for public hearing, every one of you is entitled to come. And at the end of the day, this particular Senate is about the people. The Senate President and every Senator took an oath to take public interest above personal interests. At the end of the day, public interest shall prevail. God bless Nigeria. I think uh, the issue also that has been very popular nowadays. I think Senator Dino Miller did mention it. But I think also being here is another opportunity. I don't think one can get tired in trying to say the right thing. I want to reassure you, there is no bill called frivolous um, so anti-social media bill. I want to assure you that what we have before us was a bill of frivolous petition, to do with petitions generally. Unfortunately, in, when, in the processes, Generally, when we debate at the second reading, we only debate principles of a bill. We do not dis debate the details of a bill. Unfortunately, in, in the bill of frivolous petition, there are some, of, which I will call some obnoxious sections there. And I'm sure, as you all know, those obnoxious sections will not see the light of the day by the time the bill is finished. Amen. Because it bears no relevance to what the issue we talked about, which was frivolous petition. But I want to assure Nigerians that the Senate that we have is your Senate and is one that will continue to work closely. It's not our intention to gag any social media at all. 
we want to run an open Senate we have, so that we, you can be part of it. And by being part of it, we can get, be, be a, get a better country. Because we are 109 of us. You cannot say we know everything. It is by getting inputs from you that we can make better laws and make Nigeria a better place. And as such, we will continue to work closely with you on these areas. On this point, I want to, at this point, ladies and gentlemen, it is with great pleasure that I want to formally declare this workshop open. I want to urge all participants to work together to come up with outcomes I'll be proud of and to reassure you that any role that we need to play in the Senate and the National Assembly, we be reassured that you have a partner that will work closely with you. Once again, thank you for this great opportunity and joining us.